Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be going over 1998 USAMO problem number 3. We are given n plus 1 numbers in the interval 0 to pi over 2. And it's also given that these n plus 1 numbers satisfy the following inequality here. We would like to go ahead and prove this following product being greater than or equal to this exponential form here. Uh, to simplify things, I will go ahead and substitute here. I'll call this expression y1 and call this one y sub n. So let me just write that down. So let um, y sub i be equal to tangent um, a sub i minus pi over 4. The, this condition about uh, the sum of these tangents being greater than or equal to n minus 1 translate to um, the following um, inequality basically uh, um, so we can say so uh, y0 plus y1 all the way summed up to y sub n is greater than or equal to n minus 1 now let's focus on the target now so this is what we want to achieve so uh, let me let's try to figure what the left hand side would look like uh, in terms of y sub i so we need to first uh, so let's focus on the goal here um, so tangent um, a sub i in that case uh, can be equivalently written as tangent well a sub i minus pi over 4 plus pi over 4 just a simple trick here and then we can apply the addition formula for the tangent we all know that that would give um, tangent um, well a sub i minus pi over 4 plus tangent pi over 4 all divided by 1 minus tangent a sub i minus pi over 4 times tangent pi over 4. Um, obviously tangent pi over 4 is equal to 1 and as a result this expression can equivalently be written as a 1 plus um, well and then uh, tangent a sub i minus pi over 4 is apparently y sub i so that's 1 plus y sub i on in the numerator and the denominator will become 1 minus y sub i so let me just erase this for here so therefore as i said earlier the goal statement here would simply be the product of these uh numbers these fractions so the goal would be just the product from i equals from 0 to n of this expression here 1 minus y sub i greater than or equal to n raised to the power n plus 1. So that's what we want to achieve. So in order to achieve that, I would have to come up with expressions like this in the numerator and denominator. So that gives me an idea about how to manipulate this expression over here. So let's start in the next page with this expression and then let's see how we can manipulate it to ultimately to get an expression like okay so an expression like this one here so what we have is we have our expression so let's write that down one more time so y sub 0 plus y sub 1 plus all the way to y sub n being greater than or equal to n minus 1 i will go ahead and move that negative 1 to the left hand side and pretty much everything on the left hand side to the right hand side except one of them so that would imply that y sub i plus 1 is greater than or equal to um, well it's possible to split that n into pieces of 1 so therefore it would be uh, 1 minus y sub 0 plus 1 minus y sub 1 plus all the way to um well one minus um y sub um i minus one plus well apparently we need to make a jump there one i sub y sub i plus one 
plus all the way to 1 minus y sub n. So therefore, uh, so it's possible to now represent all this thing on the right hand side in, in uh, summation sign. So therefore, y sub i plus 1 is greater than or equal to the sum of 1 minus y sub j, where j is certainly not equal to i. So that's kind of like the first step, which is uh, important here. And we, this is kind of like a, um, an important step here. All I will do now is I will divide both sides by n, like that. And then I will apply AMGM. Obviously, the left-hand side will be the arithmetic mean, and that should be definitely greater than or equal to the product of, uh, well, each of these terms, uh, where J is not equal to I, and I'm. it has to be on the 1 over nth power. 1 over n here. Okay, so therefore this would imply that if I take the product of over all i's, i being equal from 0 to n of these expressions here, y sub i plus 1, that would certainly be greater than or equal to the product i from 0 to n, the product of j not equal to i, 1 minus y sub j raised to the 1 over nth power. And luckily, this expression, uh, when you think about it, we will have n plus 1 terms in this big product, and each of the um, uh, 1 minus y sub j's will appear n times. So as a result, when you multiply them out, the exponent will become just 1, and lo and behold, we will get the following expression, basically for i equals from 0 to n, 1 minus y sub i. So make sure to, if you have some draft paper, to do this algebra here. You can try some numbers for n. For instance, you can try it for n is equal to 3, and convince yourself that this is actually true uh, equality here. So therefore, now we are almost done with the proof. All we now will need is to move things around. So I will just need a little bit more space. So I will try to fit the solution in this page here. So therefore, I will go ahead and take the n to the right hand side. Obviously, n when taken outside the product sign will become n raised to the power. Well, in this case, we have n plus 1 terms here. So it will be n raised to the n plus first power and then when moved to the left obviously uh, um, well it will be in multiplicative form obviously so it will no longer be in the denominator so therefore and then when i take this term to the left because these uh, product signs have the same index um we can put them into the same product so therefore that would imply the product from i equals from zero to n of, well, I can rewrite it like this nicely, actually, 1 plus y sub i, 1 minus y sub i, greater than or equal to n raised to the n plus first power. And that actually is the desired result, because we already early on mentioned that that was the new goal for us, because um, this is an equivalent form for the desired inequality that we have. We just proved that each, each of these tangents will look like this, and we need a product of these, uh, each of these um, tangents. And that expression here on the left-hand side is exactly equal to this as we showed in our previous slide. So that solves our problem. Hope to see you in our next video.